Hello stampers, my name is Helen Borer. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Seward, Nebraska. I'm here today to talk to you about Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick. The new set, Hey Birthday Chick, came out in our um, new mini catalog, the um, January through June 2001, or 2021. Um, it's on page 52 of that catalog. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, I don't need more chicks. But then guess what? Stampin' Up! brought in the dies. The dies are fantastic. You end up with chicken wire, signs, a chicken coop, corn, eggs, food, feed bag, fence, little chicken tracks, little chicks, a, a wood stump. It is just fantastic. These dies bring these so far over the top that I am sure you're going to want to purchase these. And if that turns out to be what you want to do, you may as well get them during celebration because if you buy both bundles, you are you can get at least one item free from celebration and you're close to getting two. So um, keep that in mind. You have till the end of February. Okay, so then after doing that, I thought, now what do I do? I have the sets, I have the stamps. And so I decided to cut out a whole bunch of things. I cut corn and chickens and a little bit of everything. And I decided the, a lot of the things I cut out of crumb cake, it didn't really show the embossing that happens with uh, that there after you cut and so I'm sponging <clears throat> some of them with soft suede ink and that did make them a little bit more vibrant the The embossing lines that are in there just after you cut are so detailed that you really do want to make them show up. Okay, so after I cut everything, I had all kinds of blank chicken shapes cut out and I needed to stamp them. They cut out really fast when you um, just put them all on a piece of white and cut them out. But here I'm putting them on my stamparatus. I put down sticky notes and then I stamp right on the sticky note. <clears throat> then I take a piece where I had die cut those shapes out of and I line it up over one of the images and when I get it lined up I can put blank shapes of that particular chicken in there and we know the die is exactly or the stamp is exactly in the right place for that so we ink it up and we stamp it and we take out that perfect die cut and stick in another one and we'll ink it up and stamp it down and then after we do all of that particular chicken that um, I have cut out we'll switch over to the other stamp I have mounted and put the template from die cutting over that little chick. And I bring in all of my um, blank die cuts, stick it in there, 
and stamp it down. And I keep doing this until I have stamped all of that particular chick. And it's a lot faster than um, stamping them and lining up a die. And you certainly don't have to roll them through your machine as often. So now I'm moving on to two more of the images. I'll put down some new sticky, sticky notes. And I use the sticky notes because they don't shift after I stamp that image on them. I know they're going to be in the same place the next time I go to um, stamp it. And here I decide that I shouldn't have used my die cut template for so many because you need it to lay flat so it doesn't uh, shift around. So there I cut it down and we'll start stamping this particular chick. Now I'm moving on to the other chick that I have mounted. And I'm going to continue this process all the way until I have all of my blank die cuts stamped. So meanwhile, when I go to create, I have a whole bunch that are ready to color. Now we are actually ready to play. So here I'm taking a piece of white cardstock and I'm sponging some garden green at the bottom. And here I'm taking seaside spray and putting a little on the top. I don't want a lot of color. I just don't want it to be a blank white sheet of paper. So now I'm using two of the dies we haven't shown before. This one cuts out little seeds, and the other one puts little chicken tracks in your paper. So meanwhile, I decide to put in two of each on this paper. Okay, so then I mounted on a crumb cake piece, which makes a little seeds kind of show. But I decided to rub some soft suede over it to make those chicken tracks show up a little more. And here I am bringing in some of my die cut pieces. I'm starting out by using two ears of corn. In the little chicken coop, the die cuts a slit, and I'm sticking that ear of corn in that slit to make it look like straw. And then I've cut the other ear of corn in two pieces, and I'm gluing them on to make straw in in the center, you know, kind of like a haymow. And so then I'm laying my other pieces on and look at that fantastic chicken wire. 
that was punched out of um, oh a light gray what is our color um, that's terrible the name escapes me but I decide I'm ready to um, start gluing some of these down so I put down the chicken coop and I cut this chicken wire with um, the double-sided adhesive on the back so it is just super easy to lay down here and it's such a fantastic outline or outline a, fa a fantastic um, little decoration so now I'm gluing down the corn and it's, it would have been nice to have cut out of um, or with this double-sided adhesive, but it wasn't too hard to just put a little bit of glue on. It doesn't take much. And then we have our sign there and I decide to pop it up. Okay, then we have a lot of pieces. It really starts to get fiddly here. We're using corn husks and corn cobs, or ears of corn, to put on the corn stalks. I used liquid glue, but glue dots might not be a bad option for putting down those ears of corn. But I really love how those look. Meanwhile, even the corn stalks have um, embossed lines in just from cutting them. In person, they look very nice. And here, I think I mentioned that I'm from Nebraska, so you have to write Go Big Red on the sign. Since we are the Nebraska corn huskers. And so now I'm taking a chicken and I'm going to color it with my Stampin' Blends. I used red for the comb and wattle, and I'm using pumpkin pie to put a, a, for the beak and around the, the dark spots. And then I'm gonna use um, Daffodil Delight to blend, to blend out the pumpkin pie and to color the rest of that chick. I also bring in my color lifter to try to lighten a few areas. I think this is the dark daffodil delight. I may have used the light if I were to do it again, but I like how the chicken turned out. And so we're going to pop up that chicken with some um, dimensionals. Uh, 
And I'm going to put that on a card base. The card base is terracotta tile. And there's that card. And then I bring in a card that I'd previously made. We have those chickens in a chorus line. 